nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with all of our heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we hunger repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, and strengthen you in all goodness by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your progress. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord has shown forth his glory. Come, let us glory him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence by his spirit, and raise a loud shout to him of songs. For the Lord is a great power, and a great king above all the gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth, and the eyes of the hills that are deep also. This is the gifts of the earth, and his hands are known to the dry land. Come, let us bow down and take the name, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, who he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that the day you would hearken to the voice. In 5 and 6, found on page 588, we'll recite it in unison. Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my meditation. Hearken to my cry for help, my King and my God, for I make my prayer to you. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. Early in the morning, I make my appeal to watch for you. For you are a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, and evil cannot dwell with you. Christ right, cannot stand in your sight. You hate all of us in world forgiveness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful no longer will be the Lord. Because as for me, with the greatness of your mercy, I will go into your house. I will bow down and build your holy temple on all of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness, because of those who lie in wait for me. Make your way straight before me, for there is no truth in their mouth. There is destruction in their heart. Their throat is an open grave. They have clattered with their tongue. Declare them guilty, O God. Let them fall because of their sins, because of their eternal traditions cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. To all who take refuge in you will be glad. They will sing out their joy forever. You will show to them to tell them to the life of the enemy and stop on me. But for you, O Lord, who bless the righteous, we will defend them with favor and sanctity. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. Have pity on me, Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, Lord, from the bones of wrath. My spirit shakes with terror. How long, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, and deliver me. Save me for your mercy's sake. For in death no one remembers you. And who will keep you thanks in the grave? I grow weary because of my groaning. Every night I drench my bed and cloud my darkness with tears. My eyes are wasted with grief and went away because of my unhappiness. If you pardon me, O people, joys, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping, the Lord has heard my supplication, the Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be confounded in great fear. They shall turn back and suddenly be put to shame. 
To whom then will you compare me, or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see who created these. He who brings out their host and numbers them, calling them all by name, because he is great in strength, mighty in power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The word of the Lord. Chapter 13. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, O Lord of heaven, in the high courts of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Now, after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent, believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending their nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, they entered, he entered the synagogue and taught. They were astounded at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority, not as the scribes. Just then there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. And the unclean spirit, convulsing him and crying with a loud voice, came out of him. They were all amazed, and they kept on asking one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And once his fame began to spread throughout the surrounding region of Galilee. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Chapter 18. 
splendor, and honor, and power. Now you are God, O Lord our God, who you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have been. O you are God, right, the Lord, and the same, who with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, taking the priest to serve our God, and so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worshipped and praised in the name of the Savior, forever and evermore. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered and punished by them, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of God, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Also with you, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffering be, save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Day by day we bless you. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Lord, show us your love and mercy. In you, Lord, is our hope. We shall never be in the name. Lord God Almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father in heaven, who at the baptism of Jesus in the river Jordan proclaimed him your beloved Son and anointed him with the Holy Spirit, grant that all who are baptized into his name may keep the covenant they have made and boldly confess him as Lord and Savior, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Today we pray for the Diocese of Leicester in England, Southern Virginia in the US, and Gloucester in England. In our Diocese and Prayer Cycle, we pray for St. Luke's Church in Jackson, Korea the Literacy Council and Museum of Biblical History. We pray for revitalizing of our worship, for all those who are a part of leading the worship of the Church, that they may help our worship to be meaningful and relevant for lay readers, that they may read so the scriptures that the meaning is clear and compelling for those who make music in the church, that it may be a worthy vehicle for all devotion and adoration, for those who lead prayers, for those who preach, that they may make clear the truth of in Christ. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, whose Son, Jesus Christ, came to cast fire upon earth, grant that by prayers of your faithful people, a fire-burning zeal may be kindled and passed from heart to heart, until all our hardness is melted in the warmth of your love. Through him who loved us and gave himself for us, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Lord Jesus Christ, you stretch out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honour of your name. Amen. May add the sessions of thanksgiving at this time. Pray for our parish. May we move much closer and closer to you and turn into your likeness. Pray for our program. Pray for work and study. Pray for our diocese and our bishop. Those who are sick, we pray, O oh God, that your mighty hand of healing may touch them. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your grace, not only with others, but in our hearts, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory are all days. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Glory to God. God. to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to Him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever.